Welcome to another Midnight Experiment where we answer the question, what happens when ordinary objects encounter 500,000 volts? Well, our main generator is a Tesla coil. We also have a Tesla extra coil. And then we have our famous blast table. The blast table has a highly insulated column and then two wires with a tremendous dielectric strength. So we're gonna pump all the power from the Tesla coil straight into the blast table. Our first contender will be an ordinary helium balloon. And our second contender, the runner-up, will be a DVD which gave me many problems. I'm looking forward to that particular trial. So let's get to it. So here it is. Looks like, uh, wow, there's stuff floating around in the air too. And it's separated into two pieces. That must be the mylar where the, all the writing is done on the disc. And that's the plastic with the blast image. It's kind of a beautiful, beautiful blast image. That's very interesting. So I would say that in this round, I think the Tesla coil wins. Ladies and gentlemen, in a surprise upset, our unexpected winner with only moderate damage. Looking through the side here, look how the mylar has become transparent. But the plastic survived. Plastic will always survive. The winner, the helium smiley face balloon. And he earns his freedom today. Traveling from the great city of Redlands, now to the upper stratosphere after his amazing experiences in the laboratory. Hold on a sec before you go. I know that in the old carnival days, they used to pass a million volts through a person's body. So we've already used the blast table to pass quite a few volts, probably 500,000 volts through a couple of ordinary objects. But what would happen if we tried to do that through a person? So I'm committed to doing this. I've been, since I built this, I've been too nervous to actually do it, but we're gonna give it a go. So let's, let's try 500,000 volts. I'm gonna get my face back a little bit. 500,000 volts through a human body. <laughs> 